Tech Talk Alert. After our latest digital life hack, you're going to hear one of my weekend show's best calls. You don't want to miss it. Most of us spend 20 to 30 minutes on average scrolling through streaming services to find something to watch. And if you're a movie buff like me, that's way too long. But AI chatbots can help you find the perfect movie in seconds. I'm Kim Commando for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Accelerate your AI workload today. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash Kim. Here's how it works. Tell ChatGPT or Gemini that you'd like to watch a movie. List your favorite movies and actors. If you say, I love Inception and Leonardo DiCaprio, it might suggest movies like Shutter Island or Catch Me If You Can. Or if you're a fan of The Godfather and Al Pacino, AI will hit you with classics like Scarface or Heat. Pro tip, pair these chatbots with Real Good or Just Watch. These apps gather all the streaming services into one place, so you can instantly search across Netflix, Hulu, Prime, and more. Type in those movie titles from the chatbot, and Just Watch or Real Good will tell you which service has them at what price, or better yet, for free. Get my free newsletter at getkim.com. Hey there, tech lovers and wannabes. Want to stay ahead of the game? You've got to check out my YouTube channel. It's amazing. So many people are loving my new and improved channel. For starters, we've got fresh how-to videos every week, like how to block those super annoying political text messages, let important calls through even in do not disturb mode, and oh boy, watch out for sneaky QR codes that can actually brick your phone. It doesn't stop there. Join me for Kim Commando today, a fun podcast where we break down the latest tech news and trends. It's like talking tech with a friend minus all the boring stuff you'll get the latest tips and tricks to keep you in the know and have a little fun while doing it plus who doesn't love being the tech savvy one in the crowd so head to youtube.com slash kim commando hit subscribe and make sure you never miss a new video or podcast that's youtube.com slash kim commando and when you're there be sure to hit that subscribe button that's youtube.com slash kim commando with a k of course and i'll see you on the video As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show, Uh, Karen in Casper, Wyoming. Hi there, Karen. Hi, how are you? I'm good. What's going on? Oh, it's a windy day in Wyoming, like normal. It's 115 in Phoenix, like normal. (laughs) (laughs) I wintered down there, so I'm very glad to be up here. Oh, so you're you're a winter person. Okay. I am a winter Arizona. All right. So you're just too much of a wimp wimp to be here. (laughs) Well, kind of. Oh, okay. Well, I will tell you what you do miss not being here in the summer is that wherever you want a restaurant reservation, you can go right in. Okay. You you don't have, you don't have people with Minnesota plates driving in the fast lane with their left turn blinker on the whole way. Okay. Uh, And and wherever you want to park, you can park. (laughs) Okay. How about that? Well, you know what? If you live in Wyoming, you have that all the time because there's not very many of them. <laughs> there you go. Wyoming's gorgeous. <laughs> I love Jackson Hole, area, whole area up it there. It is. Yep. So, so what's going on? Okay. So I have been told that Apple is not the best phone to have when you're doing banking transactions like Venmo or checking your balance, getting into your bank account, that Apple has the least secure of all the phones. Just wondering if that's true. Is did this same person talk to you about chemtrails? Um, it was an IT guy from my from our bank who just said that Apple is the least secure. Okay. I don't know who he is. But okay. he but he's wrong. <laughs> okay. So and I wouldn't take know. any financial advice from him either. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, iOS the security is very much locked down. It actually has something called sandboxing. Okay. Okay. Sandboxing, when you're working in your banking app, says, okay, nobody else is allowed to come in. No other apps. Nothing's further. Uh, They update the iOS, seems like, every other day. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get it. You pretty much can't get an app in the Apple App Store that hasn't been vetted by Apple. Okay. Okay. Uh, You can get anything in the Google Play Store. Right. Uh, they have a they have a dedicated what they call secure enclave processor that does all the encryption and the data storage. You have facial ID, you have touch ID. Mm-hmm. So he not may not true then. Yeah, it's not true. It's not okay, true. That's uh, really good to know. I, yeah. And again, I just you know probably a very nice guy. Okay, <laughs> but not not 
correct here. No, he's not correct. And as I mentioned, okay. I, I, I wouldn't definitely <laughs> would never take any banking information or, you know, I wouldn't see right. I would just kind of like say, oh, thank you so much, you know. <laughs> and move on. And yeah, appreciate <laughs> you. You're, you're great. Yeah. But no, don't worry about your iPhone. I mean, tell me, does he want to use a Huawei phone made in China? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know. That would be a good one. That would be a really good one for him. That would be, that would be safe. Yeah. An iPhone, the least secure phone out there. <sighs> He's hanging out at too many Reddit forums, probably. Karen, thanks for your call. Thanks a ton for listening. Now, if you have questions, comments, or just a digital dilemma, find your way to commando.com and hit that email Kim link. I treat each email like it's a VIP guest at a tech expo. Now, you can turn tech chaos into clarity. How? Well, you know, get my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com.